Hello everybody and welcome, this is Roland Hartman from Graphic in Motion and in this tutorial I want to show you how to customize my light bulb explosion logo reveal template. So before we get started in After Effects I just want to point out that this template contains two different project files. And the first one is called the No Plugins version and the second one is called OF, that means Optical Flares. So if you use the No Plugins version, no third-party plugins are necessary. And if you use the Optical Flares version, you will need Video Copilot's Optical Flares plugin. If we take a look at the project, you see that we have basically only two flares and the first one is creating the shine of the bulb in the beginning. And the second one here is really short and is only the flare that is creating this short explosion shock. So if you do not want to change the shapes of these flares, so if you do not want to change uh, the elements of the flare, then you can without a problem use the no plugins version because you can of course also customize the color in this version. So for this customization I'm using the no plugins version as you see and now we start the customization process. As you probably saw in the preview video, you can use this template either with a logo or you could also use a text. So first of all, I will show you how to customize the template using a logo file. So the first step that we have to do here is to import our logo and let's open up the logo composition and it should be already open. If you cannot find it in the timeline, you can also find it in the project area right here. And now we just import a logo and therefore I choose file, import and import file. And for this example, I will just use uh, the Envato logo and I will drag in the logo above my placeholder. And I will press S and just scale it to approximately the same size as my placeholder and I will disable the placeholder. Now we move on to our logo text setup composition and you will immediately see that something changed. First of all, uh, the logo now only has an outline. So if I go back to our logo comp and if I toggle the transparency grid, you see that this logo has an alpha channel and the template will automatically trace the alpha channel of your logo and will create this outline and that finally creates our glow wire look. The next step is to position the logo. So you see you have two possibilities here or in fact you have many possibilities but uh, yeah two basic ones. Uh, you see that in the back or, or on the bottom here we have just a still image of our render and this is only a guide layer that helps you position your logo to the right place. And if you take another look, we have a glow wire composition. If I enable this, then you see that there is actually uh, the possibility to add the glow wire wherever you want. So if your logo, for example, I will just do this for now, is smaller and right in the middle, then we also you also have the possibility to use it because we have the glow wire and you can always mask it out so that it matches the shape of the logo. And I will just show you this now. So let's say I will just scale the logo down a bit to about 80% just as an example. And now let's go in and let's just mask out the right parts. So first of all I will change the resolution to full. Uh, actually I just want to scale it up a little bit so that it fits my that it fits this, this position, oops, that it fits my glow wire a little bit better. So let's say 82% or 81, like this, it looks good. Okay, so now let's just mask out the glow wire. So let's say I do not want the, the glow wire to be visible only between this shape and this shape, or the logo and the E. So I just select my glow wire composition or layer and then I take my mask tool, the pen tool, and I just start masking out the part that I do not want to be visible. So this is important. Always mask out the part that you do not want to be visible. 
So let's mask it and now we press M and just set the mode from add to subtract and you see now it disappears. And this part should be visible. So what I will do now is just mask out this part here. And now I'll go over to my O and I will mask this part and now we'll just close this mask. Oops, like so. And now I will set this mask to subtract and you see that we have a little bit of a problem here. I'll just create an additional point, hold down control and move this down a bit. And now you see that we have got exactly what we want. So if I move on to my render composition now and I move my cursor to the end of the animation, you will see that now our Envato logo sits perfectly between our glow wire. Before I show you how to customize the colors, I just will show you how to use the whole template with a text version. So let's just for now disable the logo precomp and enable the text composition here. And you can of course enter the text composition and now you can type in whatever you want. So let's just double click on the text layer and just type in your title. And I used the eternal promise font. You will also find a download link within the links folder because it is kind of a connected uh, hand uh, title or handwritten font. And yeah, this could also be made of a glow wire. So let's go to the logo text setup composition again. And now you see, okay, now we have our your title text here. And now I want to connect this to my glow wire. So therefore I will just delete the two masks that I created in the last step. And now my glow wire is visible again. So let's take the text composition for now and let's move it a bit that we, it, it connects a little bit better. So like so. And now we can start masking out our text. So in fact, this looks not too bad. I will just move it over a bit so that it connects here on this side a little bit better. And now we'll just again select my glow wire composition or layer and take my mask tool and I just paint a very quick mask. I'm masking out these parts here and I set the mask to subtract and now you see that I have my title connected. And now you see that we have, for example, this gap here and these pieces are not connected. So if you want, you can draw your own connections. And therefore I, an, I added an, a layer that's called connection strokes. If you select this layer, nothing will happen. But if you start drawing a, a mask now, so let's say we draw a mask like just some kind of a connection between these two. And if we turn on the connection strokes, you will see that now it created a stroke for us. So you basically can use this connection strokes layer to paint a connection between certain elements. You can use this, of course, also with the logo composition or with the logo layer. You do not need to use it with the text layer. So this is just an option that you have just to get all your elements connected. Okay, but I want to just uh, undo all these steps because I want to keep working with my logo. So I quickly restored the look of our logo and now we move on to the render composition. And in the render composition, you basically can create your own look. So let's get started by just changing the color. If we take a look at our logo, uh, you see that there is a layer that's called change the glow wire color. If you select this layer and go to the effect controls, you will see that there is a change color effect on this. And if I disable this effect, you will see what is the native color of this uh, glow wire. And it is like a glowing metal orange. So if you want to uh, use this look, then you do not have to do anything. Just uncheck the effect, the FX here and disable the effect. But you can, of course, also use the hue transformation value here to create whatever color you want. And of course, you can use the lightness to adjust the lightness. And you can use the saturation effect to 
adjust your colors. But for in this example, I just will turn off my change color effect and I will change my basically blue look to something like uh, yeah, orange, a warmer look. So what you want to do next is to match the color of your text to our glow wire color. And therefore it's important that before you take over the color with the color picker, you disable the glow. Because the glow, as you see, has an influence on the look of the color. And the glow is influencing both, so our text and our glow wire. And let's just disable the glow for now. And now you select the text layer here. And you take the color picker and you move in and just pick the color of the glow wire. And now you can enable the glow and now you will have uh, the same look on your glow wire and on your text. Of course you can enter any title or your tagline or web address or whatever. And of course you can choose any font you want. Uh, please be aware, on this layer, on the text layer, we have a marker that says edit title behind this marker because uh, in front of this marker the text is just not fully revealed and you will not be able to see it. So be aware if you want to edit the text that your marker, your time marker is always behind this, this layer marker here. Okay, so now we have our warm and orange look. And if we take a look at the beginning here, you see that our light bulb is still uh, very cool looking, so very cool colors. And we want to change this. So you have a few possibilities here. First of all, you have a color correction uh, layer. If I disable this, you immediately see what it does. It just gives the whole look a little bit of a, a cooler color. So in my case, I could just uh, go to my blue channel and now I could just reset this to normal values and I could go to my red channel and reset this too. And I'm back to a pretty uh, neutral color setup and then you can just take the flare bulb layer and you have a tritone effect on here and you just need to change the midtones you do not have to touch the highlights and the shadows just change this to let's say a warmer color and you see immediately what effect this has so let's change it to some orange that is just a little bit of a warmer color and now let's move to our explosion that is happening right here and you see our explosion is uh, pretty warm already. You could of course also change this, maybe it should look a little bit different. We could make this a little bit cooler or yeah, it's up to you. You can be creative here. And now you see that we have a pretty cool look. And one more thing that you can change is the look of this shock wave here and therefore you just select the shock wave layer and you see there is a tint effect on this layer and now you could also just turn this into something uh, more more suitable like an orange like so and now you see that we have a very cool look so last but not least you can of course uh, add your audio and what I want to point out here is that some sound effects are already included in the template. So you see that we have a few sound effects and you also uh, heard them in the preview video. And if you want to add the same audio that I used in the preview video, then you have this audio deep bass logo composition. And you will also find a link to this file to audio jungle in the links folder. And if you purchase this file, and import it, then please be sure that you import the file into the audio deep bass logo composition and be sure that the audio starts right on frame zero. This is important because if you take a look at the render comp, you see that I had to move this uh, audio a bit. It doesn't start at frame zero of our animation, so it starts around four seconds and that you do not have to adjust anything, just import the deep bass logo audio into this composition and be sure that it starts on frame zero in this comp, then it will be lined up perfectly when you render it out uh, in the end. Okay, so this is it. I hope that you like the template, uh, have fun with it, create some cool intros. Thanks for watching and I really hope to see you soon. Goodbye.